Welcome back to another Extinction Survival Guide. Today I'm going to show you some of the best places to start building when you first start your adventure. And some of these will be incredibly well hidden, so other players will never find your base if you're playing on a PvP server. And some will be wide open, but very well protected with lots of room to spread out if you're building on a PvE server or using a tribe. So all of these are chosen for the their resources, their water supply, and they're all very easy to find if you spawn in the central sanctuary area. And these are going to give you a really good place to start building right away, and some of them you'll only have to build a couple of walls in order to be totally protected from dinosaurs. Now, all of them are going to give you an easy way to find them. I will actually show you how to find them without even using a map or a GPS so that you can run straight to these spots and start building when you first start your adventure. So for starters, there is a big wide open road that goes from this extremely huge building over the swamp area and it goes all the way across the map north to south. So the sanctuary is kind of a diamond shape on your map and the very northern corner is actually uh, facing that direction that I'm facing right now. And this goes north to south all the way through the middle. So if you spawn in the central sanctuary area, which is the first default spawn location, just find this big wide open corridor and if you look toward the northern end, you'll see this big ramp leading up into the skyline. Now this spot right here at the very base of the ramp is an incredible place to start a PvE adventure. Also PvP, if you're not as concerned about people finding your base, it's not hidden at all. But right here, you have to actually follow this whole ramp all the way down to get to this flat area. And you can cover that with just one wall and one foundation. So that's a really easy way to protect yourself from dinosaurs. Now this area is completely flat and it'll give you enough room for actually a pretty good sized base, especially if you build around this cool little glowy thing that I'm standing on. Now it's got great resources. There is a river going straight through the middle of this corridor and so you can run out there and you can see it right there there's plenty of water and water is a really big concern here there's also a lot of trees a lot of rocks you can get crystal and metal right there in the center and in a lot of cases the uh, dinosaurs will actually uh, the robots will actually protect you from wild dinos so here's the location of this spot but you can find it without a map if you just look for this ramp towards the uh, northern end of that diamond on the map so you should have no trouble finding this area. And I'm going to fly over this real quick so you can get a good idea. Now if you build on top of here and a dinosaur attacks you, you can shoot down on it with arrows and it's high enough up that dino will have an incredibly hard time getting to you. And even if he does manage to navigate that ramp to get to your base, you can just hop off, get him to chase you down below, and then run back up to your base and pelt him with arrows. So as long as you have the high ground, it's a huge advantage. So I'm heading up to this next base location along the stream and you can see that's the swamp in the background there and if you look to the right here there are these cool pink glowy things right above a corridor there and just to the left of that and it's kind of right in line with this ramp across the stream so the base of this ramp if you line yourself up with that you'll see those pink glowy things above that that opening and right to the left of that opening is this tree now if you land right here, there is a tiny little opening that you can barely see even when you're right next to it. And if you walk in here, there is a perfect hidden PvP base. No one will ever find this, and it's completely covered. Every single wall and ceiling is already built for you, so all you have to do is make a really strong door right behind this little opening, and no one can get into this base. So that is a very good idea for a new player who's playing on PvP if you want to be totally hidden from any other players. Now, once again, just like the other base, we've got great resources. There's water right in front of your front door. Water is a 
big concern in the sanctuary because it's crazy hot in here and you go through it like crazy. As you can see here, you can actually fit a medium-sized dinosaur through that door. So anything smaller than a snow owl, you can actually get into your base. So I definitely recommend that for the very first base location if you're playing on a PvP map. Now you will outgrow that location eventually, especially if you're a tribe, but that's a great spot. Now here's the location uh, for that, but once again you should be able to find that without a map. Now if you look at the distance, there is this swamp area that has a ring of roads around the top and then a huge building towering over it. So this area is really easy to spot if you look up and you can find this ring and go right below it. There's this huge swamp with lots of water, lots of dangerous animals, and there are three little bridges that stick out above the swamp. One of them is broken. The fourth one is actually broken here. Now any of those bridges are great to build on. The other three are flat, but this one is my favorite because I love the fact that it's broken. And it's a little bit more of a challenge to build on because it's slanted, but check this out. There is just enough space here that no dinosaur can actually get to the other side. So what I did on my Let's Play series, which you can see on this uh, channel, is I actually built a little drawbridge out of thatch foundations and thatch ceilings to bridge the gap between that side and this side. So I can run back and forth very easily and even get my dinos across onto this area, which is where I built my base. But wild dinosaurs will just fall into that gap and drop into the swamp where there's more dangerous creatures. There's also water directly below this. Unfortunately, you can't drink out of that waterfall. It's purely decorative. Bummer. But you can run down these ramps over here and get down to the water, which is a very quick jump to get over there. There are dangerous animals down there, but there's also very helpful ones. In this corner also, if you look at one of my later episodes on my channel, um, I actually built a taming pen in that corner and used the natural ramp to get dinos to fall down into the pen. So that was also very helpful for me. And another great feature is, uh, aside from having plenty of water, you have these cattails. And if you gather enough cattails, especially if you have a gathering dino like a trike, you can actually get plant species X seeds. And those are incredibly helpful later on. Now, right across from here in this area, beavers spawn pretty often. So you can get yourself a beaver at really low level. I got mine at level 14 and that building I just flew under will often have beaver dams on it so you can just steal lots of wood um, cementing paste pearls all kinds of good stuff from those areas so that will be incredibly helpful later on in the game there are a lot of dangerous dinos in here, so going down to get water can be pretty dangerous, but if you see those waterfalls straight at the end there, you can actually get stuff from the stream right above those waterfalls without going down into the swamp. So it's still a great area, even with that considering. And I actually, when I was building my base here, I built a ladder leading straight down to the swamp right below here, which you can see now it finally spawned in. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, that little platform has a ladder that goes straight down to the water. So here's the location of this base. If you want to see how awesome this is, just watch my Let's Play series and you'll see I really take advantage of the terrain here and have had a very safe adventure because of that. Now straight in front of this pillar, I'm hovering right above the pillar right now, you can see to the left here is a huge tree with a root system that extends down to the ground. And this is one of the best PvP base locations anywhere on this map because it's completely hidden. Now you can fit decent sized dinosaurs into this area. And it's not a massive area, but it is definitely enough for even a decent sized tribe to start in until you branch out into some of these bigger base locations. So part of the walls are already built for you. And you can put a really small base in here real easily with just a couple walls and foundations. And uh, you do have openings in the ceiling which you can take flyers through, so that is kind of a problem. This isn't like the other PvP base where all your walls are built for you. You will have to block off some areas here. But um, 
you know, if you don't mind building yourself a base, especially metal or stone, it should be completely invisible behind all these trees and branches. There's just natural camouflage screening you from every direction. So definitely consider this if you want to build a decent sized PvP base. And uh, you can get flyers in and out through this area too, which is kind of handy once you've got flyers. But uh, that is the one place that people could raid you from the top without having any natural protection. But definitely a great place if you want to put a good sized base down that nobody will be able to see. And uh, everything good about the swamp location that I was just talking about also applies to this base. So I really hope this guide was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other good ideas. And thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.